Uh, let me turn to you, uh, Dennis, ask you pretty much the same question. Um, this was a propaganda coup for who? Actually, I wouldn't really treat it as a propaganda coup because, first of all, uh, we speak about the fake, we speak about propaganda, but actually we should be speaking about Clausewitz and Sansu. Because Ukraine, contrary to our country, our, our France, uh, Ukraine is in, is in war actually with, with Russia, whether it's official or non-official war, it's a proxy war. Which means they have to, to act in, in maybe in a more uh, straightforward way and, and apply some tactics that maybe we, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't actually approve. So for me, it's 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 not really about the propaganda coup. But for me, it, it was it was actually strange to to see uh, Peskov uh, speaking about Ukraine as, as, as a place where a journalist is dangerous to be a journalist. Russia is like uh, I, I don't I don't really actually remember, but Russia has almost the worst uh, the worst ranking in in terms of security of journalists. So I was pretty pretty much astonished by by the by the comment from from Peskov. Peskov saying that indeed, yeah, Ukraine is a dangerous place to be a journalist, but I think a lot of people, as you say, would say the same thing uh, about Russia. Let's go to Kiev. Uh, isn't there sort of a concern that this could also play into the hands of Russia that says, I told you, uh, the Ukrainian government and Ukraine, everyone's out to get us, putting out these stories that aren't true, uh, just to tarnish our image. Isn't that something that could be a consequence of these events? Uh, Russia will definitely try try to play this card. It, it, that's clear. And they, they are pretty good at it. But at the same time, I have to, to remind to our audiences that the security service of Ukraine had and still has actually qu quite a bad image in Ukraine and, and, and within the democratic world because the, 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 the persons who, who work there and who have worked there, they were trained during the Soviet times together with their Moscow colleagues, for instance. And the fact that uh, they didn't actually, they, they didn't uh, share the information they, beforehand, they were uh, afraid of leaks, I believe. And my, my little theory is that uh, actually they, they managed to, to figure out who, who has been working from inside for Russians within their, within their institution, which means definitely we, we, we won't be seeing it on the news, but, uh, excuse me, but uh, I believe the, 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 the other part of the story is actually fight against the, the double agents who work for, for Russia within the security service of Ukraine.